World Water Day 2022. Hard earned success of four decades in five years. A journey of persistence and diligence. The National Water Supply and Drainage Board. The World Water Day on 22nd March every year is about focusing attention on the importance of water. This year, the United Nations theme is groundwater, making the invisible visible. A World Water Day on groundwater would highlight this invisible resource, improve knowledge exchange and collaboration, and thereby increase the awareness of the importance of protecting and managing water sources. Ensuring the right to pipe-borne safe drinking water to all citizens of Sri Lanka is a key promise of the Vistas of Prosperity and Splendor, envisaged by His Excellency President Gothabe Rajpaksha. In order to fulfill the pledge given in the Vistas of Prosperity and Splendor, the Ministry of Water Supply, the National Water Supply and Drainage Board and the Department of National Community Water Supply have planned to increase the overall pipe-borne water coverage to 79% in the year 2025. The remaining 21% will be covered by the community water supply schemes and safe point sources. Currently, the National Water Supply and Drainage Board supplies 53.7% of the population through the 348 large and small-scale water supply schemes across all nine provinces in the island, serving a total of 2.7 million domestic connections. A further 220,000 connections are commercial, industrial and institutional. To achieve the total water coverage in Sri Lanka, as a first step, a consultative workshop was conducted in February 2020 at the Miloda Academy of Financial Studies. Following this corporate brainstorming, the corporate plan 2020 to 2025 was drafted on a short, medium and long-term basis to cover the entire country by the year 2025. Consequently, a validation workshop on NWSDB Corporate Plan 2020 to 2025 was held. Through numerous field visits and regional workshops held, identified lagging projects and corrective actions were taken to expedite the projects. As the outcome of the above all, the corporate plan of NWSDB was launched ceremonially and presented to the Honorable Prime Minister in November 2020. The corporate plan identified the water supply projects with the minimum amount of investment to expand the service coverage. Accordingly, the NWSDB has completed nine ongoing projects and construction work was started in 42 projects out of 284 newly identified projects. The procurement process started for another 63 projects and 198 tenders were already awarded under the Water for All program. Some of the projects including Attanagalla Minuangoda, Polgahavela Alawa, Matugama Agalavatta, Anuradhapura North, Anamadua, Kalani Right Bank Project, Dadurwaya Project were dragging for a long period. The Ministry of Water Supply and the NWSDB took immediate action to expedite and complete these projects as soon as possible. Further, the Honorable Prime Minister Mahindra Rajapaksha declared open the Nagadipa Water Treatment Plant in October 2021 and launched the project to construct the Jaffna City Water Pipeline System. The Thalayade Village Seawater Desalination Plant is expected to provide a permanent solution to the drinking water problem in Jaffna. With the intent of catering for the water supply needs of residents and protecting and managing Jaffna Peninsula water resources, the first ever desalination plant would be installed through seawater reverse osmosis using high technology even though it involves high capital cost and production cost. In recent times, 
The town of Eravur in the Batikolo district has been selected as the new BOI zones establishment. Supported through the National Water Supply and Drainage Board as the apex body, BOI plants in this area complete with a host of amenities and facilities including a sea outfall construction and a 70% of construction work have been completed. It is estimated to attract a cumulative investment and will provide opportunities for greater development in the country. The groundwater resources in the country are widely used for domestic, commercial and industrial purposes water supply schemes and other purposes. At present, more than 4,000 rural and semi-urban water supply schemes are using groundwater as a water source. The groundwater section of the NWSDB has now focused on mitigation strategies, which are essential for recharging process and sustainable management of the resource. All in all, the NWSDB considered launching a more practical master plan for the sanitation sector. The sanitation master plan prepared by NWSDB is aimed at achieving the ultimate national goal of the total sanitation coverage to the citizens of Sri Lanka. The Sanitation Master Plan developed by the Water Reclamation Division of the NWSDB addresses the issue of sanitation comprehensively through the preparation of decentralized sanitation strategies and city sanitation plans through short, medium and long-term projects. It is expected to increase the basic sanitation coverage up to 100% in the year 2030 by improving on-site sanitation facilities in the country. In parallel to the Kandy Wastewater Management Project inauguration, the launching of the Sanitation Master Plan took place and it was presented to the Honourable Prime Minister gracefully on the 17th of November 2021 at Temple Trees. The scope identified in the master plan was broken into district plans and shared upon the district authorities to take appropriate actions. Meanwhile, the sanitation policy has been revised in 2021 to clarify the roles of respective stakeholders. During the last two years, two storage projects were completed, namely Candy City Wastewater Management Project and Greater Kurunagala Wastewater Disposal Project. In our efforts to enhance the number of domestic connections, which is about 4 million in the year 2025, the delivery of qualified and trained skilled manpower service is deemed necessary for quality work and providing safe drinking water to the consumers. The NWSDB has joined together with other relevant institutions to offer standard trainings and develop research collaboration. The vision of quality research, training and innovative technology is beginning to take shape with the Center for Excellence, SIVAS, established as an autonomous entity of the National Water Supply and Drainage Board in 2021 through three key divisions, namely a Center for Knowledge, a Center for Innovation and a Center for Quality. The Sri Lanka Institute of Nanotechnology, SLINTEC, which is a pioneer in nano and advanced technology and research, has joined together with the NWSDB for research collaborations in water and sanitation sector to derive innovative solutions associated with new technology. Moreover, the NWSDB has entered into industrial partnership with Kotalawale Defence University by signing an MOU and both parties have announced the first training course designed specifically for water treatment technicians and operators. The Consumer Call Centre, Maliga Khanda, to handle the grievances and complaints of consumers was launched on 3rd January 2022. Further, consumers can now download the application, upload after filling and get the connection with the minimum number of office visits. 
customer complaints are attended through the IT system to resolve outstanding issues and improve overall efficiency. The NWSDB has launched a self-care mobile app to make the service more accessible to customers. Not only that, new customers now have the convenience of ordering and registering a new water supply connection online, online payment of water bills, increased fundraising for mobile water bills. An asset register system has now been installed and asset management system software has been developed by the IT system. And also, 325 stores have been updated with MIS to prevent excess ordering, maintaining reorder level and unnecessary orders, and enabling access to NWSDB employees to the database. Steps have also been taken to digitalize the customer care app using smart technology to provide timely services to the consumers. At present, several NWSDB laboratories have obtained ISO 17025-2017 quality certificates from the Sri Lanka Accreditation Board. An online water quality monitoring system has been launched that allows any officer to view water quality indicators at any time. Non-revenue water or NRW projects and energy saving projects have been identified around the country and several projects have been launched. Further, donor coordination meetings were conducted to discuss and request assistance in securing funding with multilateral governments for implementing the NWSDB corporate plan and sanitation master plan. The NWSDB has been able to complete many water and sanitation projects over the years through the donor support and will continue to do so while appreciating the significant impact the donors have made. It will indeed help the organization to achieve its goals of providing all people with access to clean water and sanitation. Further, Land Week was launched and all lands were assessed, secured and protected belonging to the NWSDB. Despite the great challenges posed by the COVID-19 pandemic, in collaboration with the Ministry of Health and the Armed Forces, water and wastewater facilities were provided to hospitals and COVID treatment centres throughout the country. During lockdown periods, the NWSDB managed to provide water supply without any major interruption. All major water treatment plants were operated on biobubbles with utmost dedication of the operators. The average number of NWSDB connections per year is 120,000. But as a remarkable achievement, it had provided 200,000 water supply connections in 2021 and has planned to provide 300,000 connections in 2022. It is noteworthy that the NWSDB has been able to achieve all these and continue its services besides cost recovery issues without a tariff increase since the year 2012, even though the production cost of treatment process is really high. Furthermore, one litre of bottled drinking water costs 70 rupees on the market, which is substantially more expensive than the water generated by the NWSDB. The water board assesses and charges a fee of one cent per litre of water produced, though this may vary slightly depending on the capacity of the treatment facility. Needless to say, the resulting pipe water is totally safe to drink and is also less expensive. Further, the NWSDB has contributed and supported many corporate social responsibility activities. For an example, approximately a total of 27 million rupees, the per day wage of all employees of the National Water Supply and Drainage Board, was sent as a donation to the COVID 19 Healthcare and Social Security Fund. Moreover, Gamin Gamata Dorin Dorata program was launched on mobile service to enhance the service connection. 
the NWSDB has conducted field surveys and investigated schools with less or no water supply in the rural sector. Arrangements have already been made to provide water supply to schools without water facilities in coordination with the Ministry of Education. The declaration for WASH in schools was presented at the Research and Development Symposium 2021 of the NWSDB. The Young Researcher Program has been initiated in consultation with the Ministry of Education to enhance research skills and gain research-worthy outcomes. Further, the NWSDB has already taken measures and coordinated with the National Institute of Education to incorporate sanitation subjects in the school curriculum. The National Water Supply and Drainage Board is expected to achieve all its targets in line with the national policy framework of Vistas of Prosperity and Splendor. මේ පැර අය වෙනුත් විශාල මුදලක් ඒ වගේම ප්‍රතිපත්තියක් වශයෙන් අපි පානීය ජලය වෙනු වෙනුත් විශාල මුදලක් යොමු කළ තියෙනවා ග්‍රාමීය පානීය ජලය ලබා දීමට අවදානම් සෞභාග්‍ය දක්ම and to become a strong and self sufficient organization while rendering an invaluable service to the country by providing affordable safe drinking water facilities to all and ensuring sanitation of the citizens in the country